hi everybody welcome back to Nellie Ruth Designs it is bird day uh, it is collaging for the birds so as you can see I have my stone product guide out which is my go-to for my bird collaging and this week I'm going to do a double spread so it's going to be kind of tricky but I'm going to do a double spread horizontally. I already have my white paper down. This paper is not watercolor paper. Uh, I am going to be using mixed media watercolor. I'm going to see how it does. It is a paper that is supposed to be kind of like for everything. I was told by a mixed media gal I was going to take a class from. I'm not going to mention her name. Uh, we were to buy this paper and I bought a ton of it and I want to start using it so I'm going to actually see how it's going to hold up. So I have my book. It's all prepped and ready here. I'm just going to set that aside. Uh, I did a collage soup flip through. If you haven't seen it yet, go back and take a look because it's got really, really, really cool images. This is the, um, the menagerie abstraction menagerie and I had mentioned in my other video that I didn't really want to use the originals. Um, this is the original that I took out of the book and I made I did it two ways I because I wanted to see what was going to be the best way. I first put it in my printer and I made a copy of it and this is the copy which I like it's much brighter than the original. That's fine. I don't care about the color. I'm more interested in the image. This is photo paper, all right? Then I went and I scanned it, and then I printed it out where it was scanned, and that is the scanned version, and I love this as well. I love all three. I love the brightness of this, and I love the scanned here. You can see the coloring is a bit, little bit different. Like I said, I don't care um, because it's all going to be for my mixed media. So this is going to go back into my book. And the reason I'm doing copies, um, first of all, if you are, like I said before, if you are a make things and sell, you cannot do this. You have to use the original because of copyright. But this is going for my personal use and I want to save that so in case I do make a journal down the road or something else, I want to use the original. So I have this here that I'm going to be using. I'm actually going to be using both faces, okay? So I'll be cutting this one out and I'll be cutting this one out. I have some birds here. I'm not quite sure. I may use them all. I may only use a few. That looks like a type of a crane. Um, these I've already previously cut, and these are out, this is a warbler. These are out of a National Geographic book that I didn't show. This looks to be in the Oriole family, and this one here, uh, I'm not sure what this is here. But I'm going to choose between, I know I'm definitely going to use this one, and I'll choose between the others. We may end up using all of them. We will see. So I have my birds. I'm going to set them over here. I'm also going to be using a floral. This is the Great Flower, Great Flower book 1700 through 1900. Um, Sacavello, Sitwell, Sock, Sachavello, Sitwell, forward by um, S. Dylan Ripley. And this is a beautiful book. I have not used it yet. I'm going to be using it today. But there's some beautiful, beautiful uh, plates in here, flower plates and some fruit. So I pulled this out and I thought I would find something in here, and I did. I found this absolutely beautiful peony. I'm sorry if there's a glare. I'm going to cut this apart, cut this out, and I'm going to incorporate this in 
the book here in my collage. So I'm going to take this out and I'm going to get it right down around here. And I just thought it would be fun to do a mixed media. I'm new to mixed media, so be patient with me. I do not know a lot of things. I do not know as much as other gals out there. So it's just a good old play for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to step away and I'm going to fussy cut. I, um, so here we have the flower. Okay, that's all cut out. And then I'm going to cut this out here. We're going to cut these faces out, the two faces, and then I'm go we're going to start building a background on the paper over there. So we're going to put that there. And I think I'm going to come down and around. Um, I don't really want, I don't want the neck. I just want the faces. And it's too bad the way I did this here. This is here, yeah. So we're just going to cut the faces out. Let's see how far down we get here. Oh, yeah, I can go a little bit further. So we have that face there, and then we are going to cut this face here. Pretty much the same. And I do like this, that it is um, seeing that that one is cut already. I'm just going to cut this down, and I may take her neck right here. have one that's all right so we have that and I'm going to keep the tops on here and I'll tell you why if I plan my plan was to have possibly some of this come over around her I need to cut this leaf out I'm going to want, I'm just going to want that up there for, for some uh, separation, okay? So I have those cut out, I've got this cut out, we've got our birds, and what I want to do now is on the back, on the paper, let's move this over here, and I'll try to bring this up a little bit more. Got to go up a little bit higher. Okay, all right. There we go. All right, I'm going to start adding some pieces of this. I'm just going to rip and tear it. And I want to just add some of these on for the background. And we're just going to put them on any old which way, okay. And I think I'm going to use my, I have to order some more of this because I think I'm pretty much running out. I am running out of this. And I am going to be using paints and such on this, okay? But I um, I want to get this background on first. Ah. 
Alright, so let's get this on here. And I'm just going to cut this straight here because I want that this to go. I want this to come right here like this. We're going to put that there. So I hope everybody is doing well. Um, I just wanted to get that front little intro out. Um, I want to thank everybody for you know joining in today because I just love y'all. I just really, you know, as the weeks pass and I just love being with everybody and I appreciate everyone so much. Um, so if, and, and, you know, so for all my subscribers, thank you. Um, because like I've said before, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be here. Um, if you're new to my channel, I would love to have you, you know, obviously stick around. If you're still here, you're obviously interested in what I'm doing. And um, I would love to have you subscribe because I just think, I think my channel is fun. I think that I, I do have something to offer. And again, uh, for all of my Patreon members, thank you for your support. Um, everybody is just, I just appreciate everybody and your encouragement, your kind words. Um, it's just part of my day now that I really, really, really look forward to coming in here and sitting around and crafting with everyone. I just wish I really was sitting with a lot of you and crafting and giggling and telling stories and having our snacks and all of that good stuff. So I'm putting this on here um, just to take care of some of that white space. And I love craft paper and I just think it's a great way To use up some of these supplies that you know you have sitting around and again if you're new to you know collaging or mixed media it's something that you may not have thought of to use and I'm just going to add another little bit up at the top there right up here. I like to do things in odd numbers. I think it's but I think there's a rule for that too, but um so I usually work in 3 5 7s, 9s, you know, anything a nice odd number. I don't necessarily always work in even. I gotta order some more of this. This is from Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. You can tell I've I've really enjoyed it because I've it's almost gone. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is I'm gonna step away and I'm going to get some of my pens and we're gonna get the backdrop, the background all set and ready, and then we will start to put um we will start to put our images on here, you know, the, the faces and such. So again, I'm just playing and this is all new to me. So let me grab my stuff and I'll be back. 
All right. So what I decided to do was I'm going to do, I'm going to use this stencil. I looked through all my stencils. I still may use this in some form or fashion or the other one. Might use this one here if I want to write something. But right now, oops, sorry about that. Right now I want to get some of this down. And this is uh, Donna Downey, her signature series. So... And I have my, my paints here. These are leftovers. I'm not going to put any new out. I'm just going to, I'm just going to use some of these up and then I can use some more um, paints that I might want to get out. I'm just going to use my watercolors here. And I don't care really if they bleed underneath. I just want to get get some color down on these pages. Oh, and you're going to also see that I decided I'm not going to do the um, double horizontal. I'm doing a single vertical spread here. Let's see, I want to move over here to some of the, get some darker ones here. And there's no rhyme or reason why I've picked these blues. Like I said, I'm just using up what is on my palette here. And if I had been smart, I would have um, taped this down, but I didn't, so that's, that's okay. All right, let me get some purple here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, because you don't need to see me do all of this, I'm going to continue to work on filling the little squares here um, off camera. And then I will be back and we will continue with the with the next steps. Um, I'll just decide here what I'm going to do when I finish up this. Okay, grab my Posca pen here. It took me a little bit to get it going. These are new. So I'm going to, you can see I have my watercolor down on here, and then I'm just going to play an outline. I'm going to put these I'm just going to go around the shapes of here. Should have started from the top down, right? Should have done that. And like I said, this is all new to me. I um, I like to doodle, but when you do a background, um, you know, when you have the front all, you know what you want to do for the front. You want to do a background. It's just kind of, I guess, a leap of faith, right? 
least for me it is, until I get, I do not have a comfort level with this yet. So, for those out there that have never done this or want to try, just do it. I mean, look at me. I'm a nervous wreck. I'm doing it anyways, though. But isn't art, I guess art is just to explore and have fun with and try. All right, so um, I want to use this stencil here. And I'm going to use this stencil here. Um, I will use it. I'm going to use it across like this. And I'm just debating. I think I will come down into this. Again, and I have my uh, faded jean. I'm not using a paint or anything. I'm just going to use my... little ranger ink here for this. And this stencil is, I'll show you the template for this. This is a uh, Obviously, it's a 12 by 12. I'll get that down there. Okay, I think that's good. That's good there. I got a little bit. Oh, that's okay. Have that there. I want to put some a little bit over here. And maybe what I'll do is I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to do it this way. That way would be a little bit easier. And I want to get a scrap underneath here. Um, so we are going to, let's do it this way. little bit on the side here. I think I'm going to turn it this way, maybe. Put some here. bottom here. So I have that. Okay. Um, I just don't know how much how much I want to cover um, the white. I don't care about having white space. I like white space. I, I think I'm one of the few that like I like white space. Um, I think what I'm going to let me get my, I want to get my layout here. And then I will be able to tell a little bit better what, what I want to do or how, where I want to take this. So I have my faces here. And they're going to be like this. And I think I can cut this off. I don't need this. Um, I don't need that, and I don't need this. 
All right, so I'm going to have that like that. And then I want to have this one right down around here. Um, now, I cut this leaf off of uh, the flower right here. Okay, I cut that off. And I want to take this and I want to put this up over her eyebrow. So I think I want to bring this down a little bit more. I just have to find the right placement here. This flower I want to have covering her eye here. Um, and I may have to cut this stem off. So if I have it like this, I have it like this, oops. I want this like this. I want this coming up around over her nose area. It's covering her like that. And then I wanted this bird, uh, see I can bring this up a little bit. I'm going to cut that stem off, I believe. I don't think I need this stem. Because I want the bird, uh, I want that bird to be the stem. So I have this like this. That's covering her eye. And then I want this bird to come up. I thought of having it like this. And then I kind of wanted it around her. I wanted this to come down around her face like this. So I just have to make sure everything is in alignment. All right, so I think that is good there. I want to fill this in a little bit more down in here. Um, and then I want to have this bird here. Somewhat like this right there. Um, so I want to just see, I'm going to have to play with this. I want to see where my, um, where my white space, I'd like to do a little bit more stenciling down here. I can do that right over, um, these colored squares here. I just have to decide. I don't know if I should stick, maybe I should just stick with this and make it come around like that. I think that might be the best thing to do. So, all right, so let's take this off and I'm going to continue. I'm going to do a little bit more stenciling and then we will come back for placement and I want to think of something that I can write on here. Then we should be able to finish up. Okay, so let's just get this done. I want to do some more doodling. So here we go. We're going to put her here. I, as you can see, I came down here. I left this plate blank in case I want to um, write something down there. I don't know how I'm going to finish this off. It's going to be a surprise for all of us. So I think the thing I have to make sure I do, I have to get this over here a little bit further. Um, and what I will do is I will put a little dab of glue um, I think I will use. I'm going to do what Mish does. I'm going to take a little dab of just little dab here and there. And then that way if I have to take it off, I can. I don't do not want to use my art glitter glue because that will just be not good. 
So we have that there. I want to get this on here. I want to get this here. This has to come down. So that is going to come down, I think, about here. Like this. And this is where I have to get my positioning because I want this to contour around her. I have to bring that over, I think, a little bit more because I want that to contour right under there a little bit under. I want that dark shade under there. I think that's good like that. So going to take this, put a little bit there like that. We're going to take this. Then I can get it all glued down properly. Um, all right, and I want to get this little guy in right over around here. And I'm not going to I think I'm going to cut this a little bit and get him in around over here. And I think that will work out just fine. Yeah. So we will get him in over around here. All right. I'm liking that so far. And I'm going to get him. I'm going to get this little one down right right around here. Like that, okay? All right, so now all of these are down. And I think what I, I'm going to do, I'll get these all glued. I'm going to get these on here. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to do some doodling around here. And I think that will make, I think that will make a difference. Let's hope it makes a difference. So, as you can see, for those that um, have questions about collaging and, you know, this bird collage, if you have prompts and things like that, no. And, um, you know, you're just going to go with the flow. You're going to do what makes you happy. Like I said, as long as you get a bird, it doesn't have to be two birds. It can be a bird. Some people use many birds. I usually try to use one um, because I want it to be a focal point, but even today, you know, it's, I don't think the birds are the focal point. I think the faces are the focal point, and that's okay. Um, that is quite all right. But again, the whole point is just to play and have fun and be creative. And for me to be scared the whole time I'm doing it. <laughs> I, I'm very much a, if you haven't figured it out yet, I'm very much a type A personality and I get something in my head that, you know, I want things to come out a certain way, and they don't. Um, and I guess, you know, at my age now, all I can do is just 
my takeaway from that is just to, you know, keep working at it. Just work at it and get more comfortable. I mean, we all, there's a comfort level, and I am not comfortable at all yet. Um, yeah, I'm not comfortable with mixed media. Let me just make sure that this is... Come on, Barbie. I'm trying to do this one hand. It's like taking a photo with one hand, right? Yep, okay, so that. That, yep, that. I just wanted to make sure I was going in the right direction. All right, so we are going to put this. Right about here. And I want it to be like that. That's good. All right, so down it goes. Could it move it over a little bit? I can just And the one thing that when you are working with collage, um, don't straight away use the art glitter glue because once something gets glued down, you literally cannot move. It's like cement, all right? All right, so we have that there, okay? So that's our main, that's the main scene. And then I'm going to take my, I'm going to take my white and I think I'm going to just play a little bit and I'm going to just put some dots up in here just to add to this. does add to it. I want to get my head in the... Plus two, I think it's hard for... I mean, I do not have any art training. I, you know, just from school. <laughs> um, I didn't go to school for art. I wish I had. But... You know, like I said, back in the day when I was in high school, you had three choices. You could be a teacher, a secretary, or a nurse. <laughs> it's funny because one of my classmates, she became a court stenographer. My girlfriend down in Virginia, she went and uh, studied at the hospital under the x-ray technician program and she got a great job in uh, Virginia. I like that on there. That's kind of faded. I'm not going to do any more on there. But And she's worked for Siemens um, her entire life. I mean and now she's part of the international group with Siemens. Um, she said it's very hard to, she wants to retire, but it's very hard because she, you know, gets paid so well. My other girlfriend that I went to school with, two of them, one became a nurse. Um, my other girlfriend went to work at the hospital. She's the one I make the birthday cards for, and I'm always joking that, you know, she's worked there since her birth. <laughs> 
because really she has. I mean, um, she's going on 50 years working at the hospital. So we didn't, I mean, we just didn't get a lot of choices. Not, not like today. Not like today. Let's see. Okay. Bring this down into here. All right. And let's see. What else? What else can I do to this? Um, I want to do something in here, but I don't necessarily want to use white. Mm, I don't really want to use green. Um, maybe I'll use black and I could make... Oh, let's see. I don't dare do anything around these. I know others would and they would. it would look really good. Um, maybe I could go around that in black. Maybe the flowers, maybe that would make it stand out. I don't necessarily want to use my Posco or Posca. Maybe I could use this one here. Um, and I that's the other thing. I think the more that you do with outlining and things like this, I think the better it looks. If I can just... <laughs> keep a straight line here if I can follow the lines. I don't think that was too much of a blooper. I know when I was watching Denise, Denise Lush, there's two. I watched Denise Love Hi, I'm Denise Love. She's a great painter. I like Denise. And then there's Denise Lush, um, who I just found and absolutely love her work. But she was make she made her last collage that she made. Um, it was interesting, really, to watch. I think that looks better to watch her. Um, only for the fact that, um, I'll do the flower too, these leaves. When she put her images down, you know, it, I kept saying, you know, where is she going to go with this? Where, where is she going to go with it? And, I mean, she rocked it, um. But she did an awful lot of doodling, and I think that's I think that's the key. The more you doodle and the more you outline with this. I know some girls doodle, they do this. They have a special pen or a pencil. And then they put water to it. Um, I don't know how crazy I am about that. I can't see myself doing that. I think I would mess it up too much because that's that type A personality and I like things neat but I don't think you can really have neat things though either and all right so I think that looks better as well with the I probably could have done a little bit darker around here Maybe bolder or brighter or whatever. Okay. 
That's where maybe the Posca pen might have come in a little bit better, but I didn't want it too bold. There, okay. All right, I think that's good. All right, um, and I think, again, I just want to do something down in here, and then I want to write something up here. Okay, so I think I'm going to take this, and I'm going to... Um, I'll do some more doodles down here. Maybe this will... Do a little something, a little extra. And maybe I'll take the white now and maybe fill this in here. Probably could have made those a little bit bigger. They look like little blobs now, don't they? like that. I'm going to put these. Alright, I don't, I think this is too bare up here in this corner, so I cut this bird out, and I'm going to put that right up here. Um, I can tuck this right down in here like this, and I can tuck that there. And I think that will work out. I like that. I like having the three birds in and around here. So we're going to get that in here. I'm just going to snip this here. And I'm going to snip this here. And I think that will be good. Take a little bit more off of here. Off of the white. I just thought this corner... Um, could use a little bit more. Uh, looking at it now, I wish I had not done this down here and I had just gone with the blue around the sides. Um, but again, that's how, I mean, that's how you learn. And if you don't, you don't try new things or, again, things you haven't tried in the past, you're not going to learn, you know, what you like, your likes and dislikes. Okay, so we're going to get this in here like this. It's going to go over. And I think we can have that go like that. And I think that's good. All right, so that's, I think I like that with that coming out right there. That kind of fills that space. Okay. And then up here, I'm going to write... And I think I'm going to do it in white just because of the background. Hopefully this will come out all right. 
and I'm going to write here, there's my little scrap paper. I'm just going to make sure, here we go. Okay. And we're going to put here, um, If one could fly, and I th think, let's see, then maybe I can take, this is where I'll take, I'm not good at shadows, but I'm going to try it. Um, let this dry a minute. Just a little something here to, okay. All right, that's good. Just to bring that out a little bit. And that is it. So that is this week's bird collage. It's probably a lot longer than I wanted it to be. But um, when you don't know what you're doing, you just kind of have to take your time and Oh, sorry about that. My cord is hanging because I have to charge my phone while I'm doing this. Um, you just have to kind of be patient and figure it out as you go along. So I want to thank everybody for joining me this week. I do hope that some of your questions were answered about the bird collage, what to do, how to get started. And my suggestion is just play like I did today. Um... I like I like everything from I like everything from here up. I'm just not crazy about this down here and I may do something else to um to um you know redo that. I don't know. But um yeah, I think you can tell in my voice that I'm not real I'm not real crazy about it. From from here up I really like it, but from here down I'm I'm not crazy. So but again, thank you everyone for joining in. I appreciate it. And um I will see you in my next video. All right everybody, have a great day. Bye bye.